एक डी एस इक्वल टू के एस स्क्वायर माइनस टू एस प्लस टू डिवाइडेड बाय एस प्लस टू एस प्लस थ्री एस प्लस फोर Now, what are my zeros? What are my zeros? Sir, one plus j, uh, one minus j. One plus j and one minus j. How many poles are there? Three poles, two zeros. One will go to infinity. So only one asymptote. One asymptote means 180 degree. So up to asymptote, please complete. Step number four. Please complete up to step number four. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Now let us mark uh, poles and zeros. So we have a zero here, and we have a zero here. And uh, we have poles at minus two, minus three, minus four. So step number one, it speaks about how many poles and how many branches. So we have uh, three poles. So there are three number of branches in this root locus. Step number two, it speaks about the starting and terminating point of all the branches. So we have uh, the starting point at minus two, minus three, and minus four. And out of these three branches, two will terminate at zero, and one will terminate at infinity. Now, step number three, it uh, speaks about which branch, which point on this uh, real axis lies on root locus. So, right side should be odd number. So, the point between minus two and minus three lies in root locus because. Right side of this number is odd number. The point between minus three and minus four does not come in my root locus because there are two poles right side of it. But it should be odd number, hence uh, it is not in my root locus. The point between minus four and infinity lies in my root locus. Lies in my root locus. So. This is step number three. This is a. Uh, please write down step number three. All the points between 
माइनस टू एंड माइनस थ्री ऑल द पॉइंट्स बिटवीन माइनस टू एंड माइनस थ्री ऑल्सो माइनस फोर एंड माइनस इंफिनिटी माइनस फोर एंड माइनस इंफिनिटी on real axis on real axis r on root locus r on the lo root locus root locus since <coughs> since sum of the sum of the poles and zeros sum of poles and zeros to the right of these points sum of poles and zeros to the right of these points are odd are odd <coughs> now only one branch will go to infinity so what is the asymptote for this so 2q plus 1 phi p minus z so this q is 0 we get 180 by 1 180 degree so let us mark here One hundred eighty degree. Now, uh, listen very carefully. Uh, stop writing. Listen very carefully. Let us see the arrangement of poles and zeros here. Out of these three poles, two will go to zero. So you can see here these two. and this one this one will go to infinity this third one will go to infinity directly here so this is done one branch is done now these two will go to zeros so both will travel up to some point then one will go to one zero and other will go to other zero now here angle of departure is not there but angle of arrival is there so please note that we have to calculate angle of arrival instead of angle of departure we have to calculate angle of arrival same formula angle of arrival we have to calculate at what angle the branch is arriving at zero so before going there let us find out at what point they will break away so let us find out the break away point that is uh, step number 5 break away point we have to just uh, reverse it so k equal to if you multiply this uh, s plus 2 s plus 3 s plus 4 so i think you will get uh, minus of S square plus pi s not s square this k equal to minus s plus two. S plus three, S plus four, divided by S square minus two S plus two. <coughs> This is K. This is K. So once you differentiate this and equate with zero, give me the answer.
so dk by ts is equal to a square minus 2s plus 2 Dif differentiation of this term complete term multiply this term and then differentiate you get 3s square plus 18s plus 26 minus so when you div multiply this i think this is uh, sq plus 9s square plus 26 plus 24 s cube plus 9 s square plus 26 s plus 24 and differentiation of v that is 2 s minus 2 all divided by v square Since this is equal to zero, this term derivative part will disappear. So when you solve this, you'll get S4, 4 S cube, 38 square, 12 S, 100 equal to zero. Please find the roots. Please find the, the roots of this. as it lies in on root locus so we got a breakaway point as minus 2.36 as it lies on root locus so you mark uh, 2.36 in your uh, s-plane also so 2.36 somewhere here breakaway point Breakaway point minus two point three six. Now let us find out the angle of arrival. Next step, write down next step number, I think six or seven. What is the step number now? Breakaway point is step six. Okay. Now we have to move to seven. Okay. So step number seven, angle of arrival. Now let us uh, make the angle first. So you see here, all the angles subtended by up to for this zero. We are calculating for this zero. Okay, we are calculating for this zero. So let us make all the angles first. So this is uh, 90 degree. And uh, first pole, second pole and third pole so this angle this angle and this angle so this is 90 degree already it is there and uh, this uh, angle is uh, 
18 degree second angle is uh, 14 degree and this is 11 degree 18 degree 14 degree and 11 degree these three angles angle of p1 pole 1 is 18 degree angle of pole p2 is 14 degree and angle of p3 is 11 degree subtended to this zero an angle subtended by this zero is 90 degree <coughs> now our formula first says phi is equal to phi z minus phi p all the angles all the angles of zero what are the angles of zero 90 degree minus sum of all the angles of pole Sum of all the angles of pole means eleven plus fourteen plus eighteen. How much? Sir, forty-three degree. Forty-three degree. No, ninety minus forty-three. Forty-seven degree, sir. Forty-seven, sir. Forty-seven. This is forty-seven. Yes, yes, sir. Sum of eleven plus fourteen plus eighteen is forty-three. Ninety minus forty-three is forty-seven. Now, angle of arrival is. Only one change is there, one eighty minus forty seven. <clears throat> In previous case, we have seen uh, it was plus angle of departure. Now here it is minus angle. One thirty three, sir. Ah. Huh? One thirty three, one three three. One three three degree. So this is a by a angle of arrival is one thirty three. So let us mark one thirty three. Let us mark one thirty three. So you see here, one thirty three means one eighty ninety somewhere here. So here, this angle is. One thirty-three degree. Angle of arrival. <clears throat> Now, since it is crossing the intersection, we have to do RH. That is a uh, that is our last step. <clears throat> so, step number eight. Intersection at root locus. intersection of root locus with imaginary lines or imaginary axis so please let us complete the, the last step So one plus G S H S equal to zero. Let us start with the Cartesian equation. One plus K S square minus two S plus two divided by S plus two S plus three S plus four equal to zero. <coughs> So cross multiply, and bottom part will become zero denominator. So you get S cube plus 
9 plus k s square plus 26 minus 2k s plus 24 plus 2k equal to 0. You're getting this? <coughs> Is this right? That is the equation. Is this right? Is this right, Cartesian equation? Now, Are you getting same Cartesian equation? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, S cube, S square, S1, S0. One, nine plus K, 26 minus two K, 24 plus two K. Now, this into this, minus this into this, you will be this. So, 9 plus k into 26 minus 2k, minus this into this, 24 plus 2k, all divided by 9 plus k. And this will become 24 plus 2k. Please find out the range of k now. So from this, you can find out from S0, 24 plus 2k should be greater than 0. So this indicates that 2k should be greater than minus 24 or k should be greater than minus 24 by 2. So minus 12. So k should be greater than minus 12. This is 1. We got it from S0. Now let us take this whole and equal greater than zero, make it greater than zero. So from this, from S1, we will get nine plus K into 26 minus two K minus 24 minus two K to be greater than zero.
So when I solve this, nine plus k into twenty six minus two k. So we will get minus two k square plus six k plus two hundred ten should be greater than zero. Or uh, this can be written as minus k square plus three k plus one zero five should be greater than zero. Now, if I remove this minus sign, I'll get k square minus. Three k minus one zero five should be less than zero. I have removed minus sign here, so make it less than zero. So this can be find the roots of k now. Find the roots of k. So we get k less than eleven point eight and k less than minus eight point eight. Now the actual range of k is now eleven point eight, and it should be greater than zero. Minus twelve was there, so we can go less than zero. So this is our K range. Now, how to find the intersection? Take k equal to eleven point eight. K take k equal to eleven point eight, and use s square. So, let us do it. Nine plus k s square plus twenty four plus two k equal to zero. Take k eleven point eight. So this becomes twenty point eight s square plus forty seven point six. Equal to zero. Now solve this. You get s is equal to plus or minus j one point five one forty seven point six divided by twenty point eight. So this is our intersection at imaginary plus or minus j. One point five. So let us mark here. One point five. This is intersection. Now we can compute our root locus. So. This is our intersection and angle of arrival. It is matching. So
now you can see our uh, angle of uh, arrival is exactly matching with the uh, intersection point and the these two branches will start at minus 2 and minus 3 they will come up to breakaway point one will go up one will go down in such a way that it will pass through intersection point at an angle of 133 degree and it arrives at zero this is this was very important question so many times this question has come please note there are two things one is angle of departure and one is angle of arrival so this completes our root locus sketch <coughs> again i'm telling you all other lines other than root locus has to be light root locus uh, line has to be very dark and please mention the centroid asymptotes angle of uh, arrival all angles must be mentioned on your root locus and arrow mark is important now let us make the arrow mark for this also arrow mark indicates where it is starting and where it is terminating so when you are doing in your notebook uh, please see that uh, uh, at least uh, half of the page you take uh, for root locus i find that uh, so many sketches uh, it is incomplete or it is not drawn properly any doubt we are, i am open for discussion now any doubt next uh, two numericals uh, again i am telling you next two class continuously tomorrow tomorrow and day after tomorrow it is very important because uh, there are two two breakaway point so don't miss uh, next two class and most probably uh, i will try to complete root locus in the next two class any doubt now any doubt no sir no sir please see that uh, you repeat this numerical again with some other values and uh, specific breakaway point and uh, imaginary intersection these two are the most important uh, steps in our root locus please practice once the calculations this, because this is 20 marks question one single question is 20 marks so if you have done with uh, the questions and if there is no doubt you can exit the class <coughs> 